Hello, dear students. We learned before how to, so to find the percent of a whole. Today, we are going to find a, a percent given a part and a whole. Let's see how and let's get started. What if I want to know other parts of the percent problem? 15 is what percent of 25? We, I sent, I uh, mentioned before that whenever you have any word problem, you need to translate these words to operations and numbers. So whenever you see the word is or the word of, remember that this is, is the same as the equal sign and the word of is exactly the same as the multiplication sign. So let us translate this uh, sentence to uh, operations and uh, words and numbers. I'm going to translate it is to uh, equal sign. So 15 equals what percent the missing item here or the missing number here is percent. So I'm going to give it a variable, which is P. P and of I'm going to translate it to multiplication. So after that, I can solve the equation. Okay, now this is a multiplication equation. I'm going to solve it uh, using the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. I'm going to divide both sides by 25 and here also by 25. This way I can find the percent. Divide 15 by 25, you will get... Zero point six. Of course, this is not the percent. This is the decimal number. I need to change it to percent. This can be written as six over ten. Then I'm gonna change it to percent. Remember that percent means pair hundred. So I am going to change the denominator to hundred. Multiply it by ten. Multiply it by ten. You will get. 60%. So this is the way how I got the percent of uh, the number. So translate the words to operations and numbers. And after that, you can solve the equation the way uh, we solved it before. You have to use the inverse operation of multiplication and the inverse operation of division. Okay, let's have another example. In the second question, 9 is 40% of what number? Okay, let's see. Let's translate this also to words and uh, operations. Okay, let me erase the screen here and start solving this again. So I am going to write 9. Then I am going to change the word is to the equal sign. 9 is equal to... 45% can be written as 45 out of 100 of what number of should be changed to multiplication. Multiply what number, this is the missing item here or the missing term, I can give it a variable which is n. And as you see here, I can solve now my equation by dividing both sides by 45 over 100. So because the inverse operation of multiplication is, is division, so I am going to divide both sides by 45 out of 100. Also on the other side, I am going to write 9 divided by 45 over 100. I can use a division bar or I can use the division sign. Let's solve now here, 9 divided by 45, this is division, 45 out of 100. Okay, 
As you see here, I am dividing fractions. Let's write the whole number as a fraction. So I'm going to use the KFC method. Keep the first uh, fraction the same and change division to multiplication. Over 1 times and flip the second fraction, 100 over 45. Now let us um, simplify before we multiply. We can use the butterfly way. Or you can multiply, then simplify, like multiplying the 9 by the 100 and divide it by 45. Or I can just uh, cross out the 9 and divide it by 1. Because 9 and 45 are both divisible by 9. And 45 divided by 9 is 5. Then divide 100 by 5, which is a 20. So the answer is 20. So... 9 is 45% of 20. So it's simple. As you see, you just translate the words to operations and uh, numbers. Then you solve the equations. And the missing term or the missing uh, part of the equation, you can give it a variable like n, p, any letter that you want. So the part usually says is before the number. These are some hints for you guys to know when solving person problems. You have to look for three parts. The part is usually says before, before it comes before is. And the whole usually says of before the number. So the whole number comes after the word of. And the percent also always comes after. Uh, the percent comes before the percent such sign. That's all for today. Today, tomorrow, I'm going to uh, we will go, going to continue learning about the same lesson, uh, six point six, uh, and about persons, parts, and holes. See you next time.